Welcome to another day of smoking with Joe. Today we're going to smoke some steelhead. I've got about a kilo and a half of steelhead here that uh, we're going to make a 6% brine for. We're going to put it in the fridge overnight and then smoke it tomorrow. Okay, so for the purposes of the uh, demonstration, I'm going to use a one liter uh, beaker and a scale. The scale registers in grams or ounces, but I'm using grams. Now the strength of the brine is determined by the percentage of salt in it. And uh, this is a 6% brine. First of all, I'm going to add about 700 mils of water to the beaker. Okay, now I didn't fill it all the way up to the one liter mark because I still have to add the salt. 53, 54, this is like gold rush. Exactly 60 grams of salt. So I'll add this to the uh, water right now. And I don't know if you can see that, but it actually raises the level of the water. So now I'll just finish topping it up to one liter. For the next part of the actual mix, I'm going to add about 250 grams of brown sugar. It's about a four to one ratio to the salt in the brine. It's just my personal taste. You can use more or less, your call. And I'll just take a few moments here to uh, dissolve the brown sugar into the water. Cue the music to Jeopardy. I didn't want to use hot water because I didn't want to pour hot water on the fish. So this is cool water. It's going to take a little longer to dissolve. So the reason I use a scale instead of tablespoons is because it's more accurate and it's consistent. If you were to use a tablespoon of table salt one week and a then next week you decided you were going to use it kosher salt, well you would probably notice that it wouldn't be as salty using the, the kosher salt because it'll fill up the tablespoon but it's not as much salt. Whereas weight is always weight. 60 grams of salt is 60 grams of salt. Doesn't matter if it's kosher salt, doesn't matter if it's table salt. You're going to get the same thing every time. And Bradley Smoker uh, goes to all that trouble by the way to make their smokers so that they're very consistent. You have a biscuit that burns the same every time. You have heaters in there that heat your food to the exact same temperature every time. Uh, so, you know, if they're going to be accurate, then you have to be accurate as well. Otherwise, your food will taste different every time. If you, if you find a recipe that you actually really like one day through experimenting, uh, good luck trying to duplicate that if you don't have the recipe written down and you didn't use exact measurements. Very important to be consistent. Okay, the brown sugar and the salt is nicely dissolved. I'm just gonna move this. There we go. Perfect. So, now I'm just gonna pour the uh, brine on top. go so that's the brine and I'm going to add a few more flavors right now I'm going to add an onion powder a tablespoon and a tablespoon of garlic powder need a tablespoon of pepper too So I'll just mix it in here a bit. The flavor is going to seep through everything anyways. And here's another little tip. I just use a, a plate to uh, weigh down the, the salmon into the brine so it doesn't float. There we go. Perfect. And it goes into the fridge. See you tomorrow. Okay, so it's been 24 hours since I put these uh, steelhead fillets in the brine. And uh, yeah, it's time to go into the smoker. But first, all I'm gonna do is take them out and dry them off a little bit. I usually use a dry rub for salmon and steelhead, but I've always been curious to try a comparison between a dry rub and a brine. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the differences might be. Definitely moist. <laughs> Be interesting to see how it smokes. Uh, for the setup, I'm really going to just do a couple of things very simply. 
Uh, it's going to be uh, 150 degrees. It's going to be uh, three hours of cook time and three hours of smoke. So very simple setup and that's it. So I have uh, nine biscuits in the feeder and uh, that'll last three hours. They're older biscuits. Uh, I'll be back in about an hour to swap the racks, but that's about it. The steelhead turned out awesome, but please note that we extended our cook time from three hours to five hours. And here's your discount coupon for 10% off at bradleysmoker.com. Check it out. See you next time.